Hi guys, welcome to my channel. My name is CKT Chaotic. Today I will be reading Purple Hyacinth episode 79 to 80 due to Webtoon's new policy. I do have to blur 50% of each episode. So if you guys have to deal with the cat logo and other blurs coming up, but if you guys do want to read along with me, it's available on webtoons.com. For anyone out there who wants to read this along with me without any sort of censorship, any blurs, and also gain early access, they're all available on patreon.com slash CKT Chaotic. Let's go ahead and get started. All right. Again, the music will be on. It's not going to be too loud, but I did raise up the volume a little bit on you all side. So hopefully it sounds good. Purple Hyacinth, episode 79. Where are they? Oh, Sinclair. <sighs> tut, tut, tut. Oh, she's home with her uncle. You might want to read the newspaper before going to the precinct this morning. Horrible murder. The Circus Royales. I saw. Sake was murdered. Most probably by the same assassin who took Harvey's life. You weren't home last night. Where did you go? To the circus, actually. Uh oh. Oh, Lauren. I wonder what's more impressive. Your knack for spotting lies or your talent for getting yourself into sticky situation. I spent the night thinking about it. <sighs> this is gonna be a very long day. Uh, huh. Everyone's looking at her. Huh. Lauren! Hey guys. Have you heard the news? I did. So did everyone, apparently. Where were you last night? Don't tell me you were... I was at the circus. Huh? Oh, Lauren. I left the show around halfway through. I didn't hear about the murder until this mur morning. I know they'll be on my back because of my history with Sake. This is not looking good for you, Lauren. I know. I just want to tell you guys first, before they come interview me. Because I know how this is all going to go down. Hey, are you okay? They don't even know I was there last night, and they're already eyeing me. As if I'm about to sprinkle golden viper venom in their coffee. When will this damn mistake finally be behind me? Did you make it home safely yesterday? Were you seen? I made it home, eventually. What happened exactly with Sake last year? I know I got you demoted, but I didn't imagine it would warrant this kind of suspicion. My outburst with Sake earned me a restraining order, and my accusations weren't taken into consideration because his alibis checked out. The Phantom Scythe specialty is rock-solid alibis. I still wasn't ready to give it up. So one night, I followed him, hoping to catch him red-handed on the Phantom Scythe business. I didn't even know what I was thinking. Any evidence retrieved like that would be worthless in court. There are simpler ways and in ways to wind up in jail, wind up in jail if you so desperately want to. I lost sight of him around a corner, and then I heard a gunshot. Bang. I ran there only to find Saki bleeding on the ground. The shooter was already gone. I administered first aid and had someone call an ambulance for him. You saved his life. Trust me, that's not what the APD thought at first. I broke the restraining order by getting close to him. 
and had his blood all over my hands when they found us. Luckily, a witness confirmed I only got there after he was hurt. And how did you explain that lucky coincidence to your colleagues? Tell them you were idly strolling by? Basically, I suppose they were rightfully suspicious. I could have walked away, but I couldn't bring myself to let him die. And today, I wonder if I really should have. How many, more, how many more lives were taken because his was saved? No, you did the right thing. Huh? But you are in deep crap. I am. So what were you doing last night? Did you come up with an alibi? No. I'll tell them I was at the circus. What? The whole point of running away is meaningless if you literally tell them you were there. I spoke to circus members when we split up before the show last night. I wasn't even disguised. If the ABD questioned them, which they surely will, and someone exposes me, it's only make everything worse. True. I see. You could say you were with me on a date last night. It worked fine last time and it shouldn't be too surprising. It's too risky and might get both of us in trouble. I'm on their list of lo loon suspects. We should associate as little as possible. Then what are you going to tell them? The truth. The truth? Then what are you, you going to tell them? The truth. Purple Hyacinth. Episode 80. Well, kinda. So let's recap. Last night you went to the carnival at 7.20, entered the big tent at 8 o'clock, and then left about halfway through the show, around 8.30. Correct, right after Hestia's number. And you were alone the whole time. You didn't speak to anyone. Yes, I went on my own. I only spoke to the fortune teller at the carnival around 7.40. And uh, yes, the doorman when I left the tent. They can confirm both. They can both confirm I was alone. And you left because you saw Sake in the tent. Yes, I noticed him mid-show, walking up to the back seats, and I knew I had to leave because of my restraining order. And you expect us to believe that? Are you sure you didn't accidentally scratch him with a little golden viper venom on the way out? First Harvey less than a month ago, and now Sake. People drop like flies around you, Sinclair. <sighs> They're calling her a murderer. There's been a phantom scythe assassin using the same MO for years. Almost a decade of cold cases. Lauren was only a teenager when they started. Oh, sweet irony. I know precisely who the killer is for all of them and have to keep my mouth shut. Nothing prevents her from copycatting and making it look like it's someone else's job. Golden Viper Venom might be expensive, but it's nothing your family can't afford. He is a jerk. Herman, back down. We can't jump to conclusions without even a shadow of ta tangible evidence. Until then, she's not a murderer. Yeah, only until we get the evidence. Sinclair, you're benched until the investigation is over. I'll put you on leave, but I want you in the precinct where I can see you. I want someone from the department to accompany you wherever you go from now on. And will inform Chief Sinclair to keep an eye on you as well. Jerk. Transcript Charles. Car? Detective Lawrence Sinclair witnessed Tim Sake. Sake. But I'm not. I would never kill him. He was my friend. I have no connection to the Phantom Scythe. Sinclair. Of course not. It's terrifying, isn't it? Insidious. They strike so suddenly. Nobody is safe. Sake. Yes. 
Ever since the Allendale train station tragedy, nobody could have known they would strike there. What a horrible, senseless massacre. Since St. Clair, what did you say? I said, st lie, stop lying, bastard. Allendale train station tragedy, huh? Before I was transferred to the patrol unit, I was a detective. I worked on a case a year ago which got me kicked off the investigation unit. That's it. Bullcrap. That's not enough to make someone like you lose it like that. There was something more to it. Wasn't there? But that's not what this is about, is it? You're not mad because I killed these people. You're mad because I killed Onslow. What's your connection with him? How do you know him? What did you see in that picture, Lauren? A couple of days pass. Uh? Hi. What's going on with William? He barely breathed a word to me this the whole week. Even though we went to eat together after Saki's case and everything was fine. You what? You guys never wanted to hang out with without me as middleman before. All it needed was getting myself kidnapped? Maybe I should get, my, get myself kidnapped more often. I don't get paid enough to deal with this lieutenant. No, he's not getting paid enough to deal with you. Oh, so, are you coming to the New Year's party on the 30th? Uh, last year was so much fun. It would be l lovely to have you with us. Ah, uh, yes. The joy of seeing co-workers drunk. Priceless blackmail material. If you're there, I'll definitely can't miss it. Confused. Heartbeat. ba dum ba dum ba dum <laughs> Too many pent-up feelings in this room. Lauren, ready to go home? Clap. Yes. A week already. They haven't found anything on Saki yet. But I suppose I should count my luck for not having his nut, his murder pinned on. Not officially, at least. Except in Herman's eyes. With all this going on, I've barely had time to think about my parents or Dylan. <sighs> Thanks, Detective Wood. I'm sorry again you have to do this because of me. I'll see you tomorrow. No worries. It isn't your fault. See you. <sighs> no more week to go before Sandman reaches out to me. One more week. Of all the people I would have expected to help us, he was at the bottom of the list. Can I even trust anything he said that night? Not like I have many more options. Hey, Kieran, what are you doing here? I've been following you from the precinct and you didn't even notice. With the number of enemies you racked up in the Phantom Scythe, letting your guards down could be, can get very costly quickly. Not only in the Phantom Scythe now, at least, isn't a bounty out on you yet? Oh wait, the king wants any of my accomplices' heads. <laughs> Were you waiting here just to remind me of all the great things happening in my life lately? No, I actually have something that might interest you. What? I have what you need to prove Saki's guilt in Chow's case. How? Oh, God darn it. Oh, man. It's getting tough. It's getting tough for her. But hopefully there are some solution in the next few episodes. All right, guys. If you guys enjoy my webtoon reaction slash reading style, feel free to subscribe, leave a thumbs up, drop some comments, and I'll catch you guys next time. Bye.